Booyaka shot! All right. Scared me. This is brew heads. We're doing uh, BBC. So uh, I know what from is, what is BBC for Berkshire so Brewing. Think, most people would yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What <laughs> I'm about to say. Like, I'm about to say. Most people have BBC as something else. No, nope. Berkshire like, Brewing Company. No. This guy. Um, This is the first craft brew that I was um, introduced to um, at the first and best board dealer I ever worked at. We used to work on their trucks, and uh, once in a while we would get a six pack or a growler. And one of the uh, technicians we had there also um, was a you know hobby home brewer. He actually now works for the um, brewer, um, Russ Shinaki. Cheers. So uh, today we're going to try three different uh, Berkshire Brewing Company, BBC Berkshire Brewing Company. company. Uh, we're going to try uh, Lost Sailor IPA. We're going to try the Shabadoo, which is a uh, uh, black and tan. Uh, and it listed as 33% porter, 67% ale. And we're going to try the Steel Rail, their flagship beer, which is, I got to say, one of one of the best flagship beers I've had. Um, it's no Bud Light. It's no Bud. It is no Coors. It's no Michelob. It is a, a, a real beer. This is what you... Uh, this is the kind of beer you put out when you want to make a name for yourself. So, here we go. We'll start out with the Shabadoo. Shabadoo. I don't know if this is like cards where you're supposed to do yourself laughs. But... No families. None. No real yeah, hoppy it's, it's not scent. Not no, no notes of yeah, it doesn't uh, smell pine. Hoppy. Doesn't smell like a this pine is, tree. This is more multi than hoppy. Yeah, this is uh, black and tan. Was more, I believe, a uh, a Guinness and Bass. Yeah. But this is uh, this is Berkshire's take on the black and tan. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that's good. Multi. Yep. Not, not, too yeah, not, not too malty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's a good mix when you take two different kind of beers and you can put them together and not make it high yeah. one or the other. Yeah, it's no, the perfect that's a, blend. That's a good. That's a good malt. Smells good, kind of coffee, like the chocolatey ish. More coffee. Yeah. Very good. Smooth. Doesn't have that like throat punch. Mm -mm. Like like an over carbonated. Mm -hmm. I believe this no. one is only served in the uh, um, one pint, six fluid ounces bottles. Um, I haven't seen it in cans. It's six point three percent alcohol by volume. It's part of their Berkshire's private stock. Um, Does it have a bitter rating? The bitter rating on this would be low. Yeah. Yeah. Also, if uh, you like this video and you want to go out and check more of Berkshire's Brewing, if you get the uh, coffee house porter. That's amazing. That's by well, it has uh, some uh, of Dean's beans in it. Cheers. That's good. This is really good. Real. Yeah. Now we're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna go with the uh, their flagship beer, the Berkshire Brewing. Well, what's flagship mean? That is the one. That is the first beer you make. That is the one that that goes out and pretty much sets the tone for your. Uh, if you were to gauge your successfulness right off the bat, your flagship beer is the one that, that sets so, the tone for the rest of the... Uh, so I'm like your flagship friend? Right. Out of the three of us? Right. I'm the one that sets the tone? Right. That's well, you're the one that set the bar. As your wife really says, wild low. card. Yeah, you're the wild card. You're the yeah. special needs. You're the one we got to look out for. Um, so back to uh, beer. I like where that was going. I do. 
Now we're gonna do, um, we're gonna sample some uh, steel rail. Uh, this is something that after a long hard day's worth of work at the dealership, I would sit down with a buddy at a uh, local uh, pub and we would have uh, a couple uh, steel rails, ease out the day. Here's a, uh, we're gonna try some steel rail. This is more of, this is their flagship beer. This is their uh, lager. Available in cans as well as bottles. Very light colored beer. Pale ale. Mm. Like I've said before, this is no Coors Light. It smells good. No. Bud Light. This is this is a real beer. This, this is a real beer? This is real. a man's beer? This, this is, is a man's beer. Man's beer. No Here's, piss water here. Put it in the glass. Put it in the glass. Edit. Oh. This hurts. I'm not even going to watch. Man's beer. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Woo. Oh, God damn, that is good. That was pretty good. Yeah. Ooh. This is good. Light, not too heavy. Again, no throat punch. Yeah. Light. As you guys can tell, I was able to just put that all in my throat, no problem. This, <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely a clear pale ale. It's not dirty. You get some that are dirty, this is definitely clear. Chris. No haze, right through. Yeah. I don't mind a dirty beer though. That's where you get all your flavor. What about a dirty table? Yep. Yeah, yeah dirty that. table. Mission accomplished. Yeah, <laughs> we got that here. This is the kind of beer after a hard day's worth of yard work, you want to sit on your porch and just have a couple. I don't see this being a beer that if you have six of them, you're going to be fucking shit based though. No, no. So I, I no, like that. This is more of a beer that you sit back and enjoy. And yeah, have a, around this, the fire. Yeah, chill. This is like an everyday beer. Yeah. This is great. So, also steel rail. This is also another beer that you can get at uh, local restaurants around. We're gonna try Berkshire um, Lost Sailor IPA. Um, this is an absolutely amazing IPA. He's not gonna like it. And just remember that just because I like it, and he likes it, and he doesn't like it, that doesn't make it a good or a bad beer. Okay, we all have different taste buds. So, <laughs> this is the Lost Sailor IPA. It's an amazing, a, a British inspired IPA. Don't, don't. Oh my God, darn it. Thank you. Just because you're not in there. More of a golden color, a little bit of haze in yeah, there. this is a pale. Light too. This lighter is dirty. than I expected. First, this is dirty. Pour. Wait, it's lighter than I expected. Yeah. First, we pour. Then we look. look. Hazy. Dirty. I like to call yeah. it dirty. Dirty. Doesn't smell hot. No, it's, no, it's it doesn't hoppy. smell hoppy, but you got a lot of lot of fruit. Mm -hmm. It's very citrusy. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, almost like a grapefruit kind of smell. Yeah, it. yeah. All right. Mm. Cheers, Brewhead. That's not. No, it's not bad at all. Bad? No, we're good. We got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> it's not horrible. The hop is there. Yeah. No, it's. But it's not. It's, it's nowhere, nowhere near as hoppy. No, it's yeah. nowhere near space dust. Yeah, space dust was hoppy. The citrus actually kind of. This is definitely something. See, this is this is definitely my kind of beer. Yeah. I love uh, a nice hoppy note with a citrus aftertaste. I like, I like that note. fruity aftertaste. I like you saying note. I do. No. It, it uses it it's very, it's very good. The dirty beers to me have the most flavor. You get a lot of, you can taste a lot of the, what they use to brew the beer. They don't filter it out as much. It's good. It's good. It's good. You having some trouble there? I mean, this is a sipping beer for me. This isn't, this oh. isn't, yeah, this, I, like, I will, I, this, I, All right, this is something that if I was sitting around a fire or whatever, I would drink this, but this would probably be like an uh, evening ending drink for me. Okay. So I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I, I hate to say- The last nerds. beer of the day. This yeah. would be your nightcap. Yeah, yeah. exactly, there you go. Perfect. Cheers, my brother. It's like a nightcap, it's, it's um. So that's it for this video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. 
Peace. 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 Re? Peace. Damn, you're done. And that's how we ended. With this motherfucker passing out. Oh my God.